What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Rewind Theater for Hellblade. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the queen of IGN Database, Megan Sullivan. What's up, guys? Hey, Megan. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm f- I'm stoked. It's been an awesome Gamescom. We're getting lots of good trailers, lots of good announcements. We're getting this Hellblade trailer from the people who made Heavenly Sword? Heavenly Sword, Enslaved, DMC, Devil May Cry. They've got a bit of a good reputation. All right. Well, they, those games are known for being beautiful and fun. Megan, where do you want to start dissecting this trailer? Let's start at the six-second mark. Six seconds? All right. Oh, man. There's a lot of information in this. There you go. There now, you go. we start off with a partial quote from Nietzsche. And if you stare into the abyss, the abyss will stare back into you. Sort of sets up what's coming, right? It's terrifying mean, is what it is. Well, it is. It's actually part of it. the full quote from Beyond Good and Evil. Not the game. The game? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the game. He who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself does not become a monster. Mm. And when you gaze long into an abyss... The abyss also gazes into you. Dang, son. Very profound. This game's deep. Already. All right, let's uh, go forward. We'll go and stop at the 16 second mark. 16. All right, right. here we go. All right, so. Our first glimpse of this character. Right. Now, we see a structure that looks very much like Stonehenge, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's got a circle of stones. They're etched with ancient ruins. You can see if you look sort of really closely. Sure. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So that kind of sets up almost a Celtic motif. Right. All right, so There's some we, historic stuff going on here. There is. There, there, there could be, yes. All right, so if we go to 22. I'm going. Hold on. Man, the game just already looks good. It Trailers looks so good. Yo. Now you see from above, you see the circle of stones. They're ringed by magic circles uh-huh. with like what looks like chalk and stones in the shape of runes. So we've definitely got a magic circle going. Mm-hmm. And we see somebody in the center of that circle, Greg, don't we? We do. It's a woman. It is a woman. The internet has been ablaze with theories of who this woman is. Yes. Because she looks a lot like another person. Doesn't she? Let's see if we can get a. Uh, let's see if we can get a close you up of her. So we're just gonna. Look at time's passing. She's just out there praying. Yep. She's meditating. Meditating. It's great for you. Is it really? Yeah. Or so I've heard. All right. Now, if we stop here. Yeah. Something interesting I noted is that she's got not one but two rings on her middle finger. Mm-hmm. Her hand is all bloody, right? Yeah. She's gripping that sword. Yeah, till she, she's cutting her own hand. On. Yeah, that looks like that Doesn't would seem hurt. helpful. Yes, and she's concentrating, right? So you think. I think she's just going sadomasochistic here. Cutting her hand. <laughs> right. Blood's running down the sword. Blood's running down the sword. More it's getting a little intense. Now she looks up and stop right there. Sure. What the heck is that? It looks like a body that's been filleted and open, and the skin spread out, and that's gross. That's a little grim, it's, right? It's the back is torn open. It's disgusting. Things just got super real, Greg. Yeah, they did. It's Stonehenge. Yes. That's it's an, an independent, independent game. game. <laughs> this but is why you come. Developer. This is why you come to the Rewind Theaters for our insightful commentary. All right, now if we take a look, he's got some sort of sack, canvas, satchel. Yeah, some kind of like shroud head. over his head. Gross. Super gross. She's staring at it. She definitely looks, if we stop right there, yeah. she definitely looks like Nariko. Right. From Heavenly Sword. Well, the, the theory that's been kicked around on the internet, right, is that, of course, Heavenly Sword, made by these guys, now they're making Demon Blade. No, Hellblade. Hellblade. Sorry, there's a lot going on. Hellblade, and the fact that in Heavenly Sword, the character, main character, Nariko, had a sister who shows up. This woman looks a lot like her, is what everybody on the internet says. You'll notice that she's got dreadlocks. She's got the Celtic war paint on. Yeah. She's got the blue eyes. She's not the only Celtic queen in this room. Oh, she That is. happens to be my PSN name. By oh, way. well, now everybody can be PSN friends with you. Oh, this thing's breathing. Well, what is that? It's so it's skull. like this creepy skull thing that looks like it's trying to breathe. Yeah. It, Definitely is getting really scary here. Yeah. You'll notice that the background is getting a little darker. Yeah, the magic's redder. finally working. She's prayed all day long. Now it's finally happening. Something's happening. She wants. She looks a little, a little scared, but she's gonna, she's gonna hold her ground. Right. All right. Now she kneels up, and suddenly, is she in the same place? Is she in a different realm? Though there's two rings. She had a ring on her thumb. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wind is going. Everything. The portal's is, open. The portal is. Things open. are getting crazy now. Yes. And not only is the portal open, but something is now there with her. Cause look. Ooh, spooky. And if you stop right there, you'll notice she has a very tribal sort of Celtic uh, outfit going on. So she's got the fur and leather, a mm-hmm, mm-hmm. little bit of metal in there. She is definitely... She could a- walk onto the Game of Thrones set at any point. She totally could. You in know fact- nothing, Jin Snee. <laughs> all right. That's as good as I can do that accent. That's Lots of stuff. You see it all shooting behind her here. More magic yeah. stuff. More shadow creatures, figures. What's not? All right. Now... If we now you, what does the blade say? You can read that language. Uh, I can read part of it actually. It says, I Mister. 
It says, awesome, no. So the first three runes, I think, spell out the word hell, H-E-L. Mm, okay. So like g- old Gaelic Norse sure. rune language. Now, I have a call to action for everybody. Ooh. Somebody help us figure out what the second word is. I'm going to say blade. You would think it'd be blade, right? <laughs> You'd think, like, that was exactly where I went to. I was like, it's either blade or sword. Right. But I could not quite... Okay. figure it out so i want someone to confirm that it just says hellblade and really cool runes or right. if it says something else and if you know what that something else is go ahead and put the answer in the comment section below because we want to hear from you right there there's that it looks like the same circle she was standing in right she created her own obviously with the runes all around it but here you got your own exactly with the hellblade. my question megan yes is this a sequel to heavenly sword is that the sister it how could sony let this happen because they own heavenly sword but you can't just take characters from heavenly sword and put them in a new game called hellblade can you well, that's a really good question, and I'll tell you what. I'm thinking that Ninja Theory is denying that it's a sequel, uh-huh. but could it be a spiritual successor? Mm, the old spiritual successor. Right. Well, I've heard have... it once. I've heard it a million times. Exactly. And so instead of – because remember, Heavenly Sword sort of had a more Asian motif. True. And this has a more kind of Celtic Gaelic motif going. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. could it be parallel universes? Could it be that, you know, Kai or Kai's sister or Nariko's sister – you know, could it be another time, another sure. world? It's like a Demon Souls, uh, Dark Souls thing. Kind of, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. it's not exactly the same world, but the same principles apply. Mm-hmm. So that is something that we'll have to wait for Ninja Theory to clarify in the future. All right. Well, anything else we need to know about this trailer? Uh, it looks awesome. Yes. 100%. That's all you need to know. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard Megan's call to action. Figure out what the sword says. Let us know in the comments. Then make sure you keep coming back to IGN for everything about the next Ninja Theory game, Hellblade. Possibly successor to Heavenly Sword. We don't know.